Welcome back, folks. We are playing some more Lords of the Fallen. Last time, we beat the Commander boss, and we got some fat loot. Now, I'm going back here to talk to this girl who left me in my time of need. What's up? What did you, you do? Again. Maybe you want to help me out. You didn't See, help me. I'm looking for a dagger. Poor craftsmanship, simple, rusty. Seen it by any chance? Do I look like a man? I thought you were looking for the pathway. Why go after a worthless dagger? It's an heirloom. It means a lot to me. Sure. With the help of my book of lineage, it can point me directly to the pathway. Does it sound like your business? No. Back off. The fuck? I wanted to help you. If I've seen it, what profits me to tell you? Because you overgrown turnip, I know a lot of things about this place. Things that you might find useful. This place, this monastery we're standing in, it's been built to seal off something. And I have a key to a secret entrance to its catacombs. Okay. I might have found what belongs to you. You found it. Its engraving will point me toward the pathway. As soon as I can decipher it. Since I've no need to look in the catacombs anymore, you can have this key. Okay. <laughs> that works. Let's go. So, yourself. she gave us a key in exchange, I'm assuming, for the dagger that we just got from him. No, actually, we didn't get a dagger. We got the arrowhead fist. I don't know which dagger, the, what the hell she was talking about that we gave her, but that's perfectly fine. So we lost all the abilities to refill. We've only got three potions, but we did get 4,600 experience from that, which is significant. So we could start getting some more into these. We could get a surrounding force that gives more damage, attack power, and removes energy restrictions. That actually sounds really nice. Let's pick up one of those. Okay, so let's get rage. Let's buy one point of that. And then the rest, I'm going to put into attribute points. We don't have enough for three. That's okay. That's okay. So let's go back. What I want to do, I kind of want to put some into vitality uh, and agility. But what I want to do is I want to get up to the point where I have a higher agility. Do I want to do that or do I want to do some endurance? God damn it. This is so annoying. I hate games that make me choose. Ugh. Okay. Okay, okay. We're going to do two points into agility. We're going. I, I guess we're going for a whole agility build. I guess that's what's, what's going on now. Um, so if we go back and can I not select it? There we go. So the monk staff now has, instead of plus one, it's giving us plus two physical damage because it does scale. It's a 2% scale. It's not a lot. However, where's the other staff? I forgot what it's called. It's near the bottom. I think, anyways. Short sword, short sword. I wish I could filter. You know, hold on. Let's uh let's filter like this. I thought it was near the bottom. We didn't just give it up, did we? Because we are filtering by damage. Oh, wait, no, here it is. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. So remember this staff we got from doing all those secrets? Well, because we reached the agility requirement of 14, it is now doing 36 damage. And it's a, a little bit slower. It's half a second slower than the monk staff that we had before. But it does almost twice the damage. It uh, requires 20% more energy, but I think there's diminishing returns because it's 110% versus 130%. Um, it scales better, of course, but it seems that that's the only difference. Those are the differences. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. Let's go ahead and uh, toggle this as a favorite for now. That's a cool-ass weapon. See, it still is fast, and it uses up more energy, but if we get more energy to uh, compensate, then we basically have ourselves... A freaking badass weapon. So, anyways, back to the story. She gave us a key <clears throat> to 
to the catacombs. Now, I'm not sure where I can go here. I'm just looking around. I assume we can, uh, we're can. we just supposed to go this way because we're still supposed to be finding uh, Kazlo, who, by the way, you know, I didn't really understand that much what happened. He got injured, right? He was blown backwards. Why would he run away like he did? Like, why would he just do that? We can actually go through there. Do I want to go through there, though? I'm just looking around. I'm seeing if there's any stuff that I might miss. Oh, wait, we can use this? Hold on. To the judge who protected people with his wisdom, faith, and hammer. So that is one of those... I don't think he's a god, but they are those six, I think. To the judge who guarded humanity with his own armor-clad body and sword mastery. So these guys are kind of littered around this area. I don't want to go through the big door. I'm going to go off to the side. Usually, usually, the cool stuff is never on the main path. Hey, look at that. From a single barrel. <laughs> Just a magic shard. I heard some enemies up here. What the fuck? I think they might be up there. I think that's what it is. So hold on. Let's go ahead and switch power. So we have rage now, which will... I, I really want to test it out. Yeah, let's... Uh, Hold on. What do I have to do to switch? Okay, there we go. Stand aside. I'm looking for a man named Kazlo. Wait. I know you. You're supposed to be in prison. Your crimes are well known. Long time, Captain. Is he going to make it? A Rogar Lord nearly ripped him in two. Kazlo's injured as well. I need to find him. Kazlo's injuries were taken care of in the Citadel. Now he's after something called a pathway. Check the chapel by the graveyard. Now get out of my way. This man needs help. I have business in the Citadel. Maybe Caslow was roughed up enough times to trust you. But one look at you reminds me of what you are. I'm not letting you in. He's looking for the Rogar's incursion point into the old monastery. Go to the graveyard. You have enemies here, and they're not all Rogar. Now move, and steer well clear of me and my men. Okay, so... I think he's being honest. Like, I think if we go here into the Citadel this way, his men and him will probably attack us. But look at their legs. Their legs are literally retarded. <laughs> or they may not let us in, period. Yeah, they, they went ahead and locked the door. However, that is the second node we saw. We need a third one, and we can go back to that guy. See that, that little symbol, the little rune? We're looking for three of them total. So that's where we want to go. Anyways... Let us go back here. Now, this right here is a special place. It is if we uh, if we have killed a powerful monster nearby, it lets you go in here. Now, it's not always the same thing. However, there's a light over there. But there's a chest right here. Let's go and see what's... Oh, Jesus. It's really bright. <gasps> hey, guy. Where are you going? Where are you going? <gasps> oh, God. What the fuck? He's leading me into the darkness. What the fuck, dude? This guy is tough. What the hell? Where did the light go? That's not it over there. So we saw that before. I assume it's this way. Though, I can't see what's on the ground in front of me. There's three enemies over here. I can see these guys. Oh, they're... Let's sneak up and uh, instant kill them. Oh, there's... There we go. We get the insta kill. But there is an archer right there. There's actually a couple archers. Yes, let's move out of the way before we keep getting shot. Fucking hey, man. Let's hide behind here. Maybe the archers will come to us. Maybe. It doesn't seem like that is going to happen. Oh, Jesus. Shit. We're just going to keep taking damage. From these archers unless we do something let's uh let's get around here use a health potion real quick maybe kill this guy <gasps> what how did you see me asshole let's use that real quick maybe it'll help us where where are they it's right there can't see anything though fuck there we go there's one i think there's only one so let's, let's, let's open up this chest now. 
Let's see what we got. It looks like there's multiple rewards in this area. However, I'm not sure if I'm keen on looking for them. Oh, we got Ka Kamar, another staff. Uh, there we go. Where is it? Right here. So it's just a basic staff. Oh, it requires 20 faith for me to use. We're very far off from that. I mean, I don't know what the difference is between a faith-based staff and uh, agility. However, the word... Okay. It's most of dark deeds. Okay, well, we're going to stick with the prejudice for now. Because prejudice is a good weapon. I feel like I may have lost something important by missing that light. Explore, survive, and loot. Find the concealed treasure. Because that's the general idea here. And I don't know where I'm standing. I saw a stream a while ago that showed... Uh some stuff on the ground that was bad what is this thing hello <gasps> come back let me come with you oh jesus hello can we avoid all you guys oh here's another thing we'll take you we got some runes from that let's go ahead and kill these dudes let's get to uh this guy right here Okay, so it looks like that's the only loot that we had here. <gasps> oh, my Jesus. So we, we got, like, two different sets of loot. Sh I'll fuck that up. Oh, God. Oh, I dodged that. How did I do that? Didn't dodge that or that. Because we didn't have any energy. There we go. Right, let's go ahead and drink up me hearties. And this is the last place we need to go. So we did get all the loot, because it crossed it off. I assume that's the case anyways. There might be more. I would not be surprised whatsoever. Developers for games like these like to do that. And that's okay. That's okay. Because I can always go back and look another time. Is that a major FPS drop? Wait, why does it say return to the other realm? We just finished that. I don't get it. If we walk away, will it disappear? does not appear that that's happening. Why does it want us to return to the other realm? It literally said, leave this realm because we've already finished it because it crossed it off, remember? That's what happened. Do we get, do we double down? Oh no, no it's just the light thing. See, see, look, it says return to the other realm. I'm like, okay, fine, let's do that. I don't know why it, Keep saying, return to the other realm. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. I mean, I, I feel like we've got what we came for, so let's just keep going. We'll eventually find Kazlo, because that's, like, kind of the important thing. And this guy... Oh, really? You're going to be that kind of character, huh? Shit. Hold on. I really should have... There we go. Shit, he hit me twice. Damn, this guy is brutal. Because he uses up all your energy. God damn, <laughs> this guy. Okay, fine. We use up the last one. What we're going to do is we're going to go in and... Or try to do it, but we can't because it won't let me jump over him. Fuck this little dude. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Fair enough. So, what we could do is we could turn back and go get more flasks but i really really don't want to do that i also don't want to get stabbed by this motherfucker Woo! this is my fourth night on watch the first three have been quiet except for the rumors that spread among us rumors about the rogar they are nowhere to be seen but there's a glow on the horizon the villages are burning and the fire may creep closer i don't think it will be quiet much longer Okay, buddy. You are annoying me with your constant rabble. Let's move on. I'm trying to see if there's anything cool in this area. It seems like this game has been built as a, you know, I a way just to make signal tower on the other side of the Make graveyard. you discover things. It's suicide, but but I have no other choice. This is our only hope for help. If there is still a place help can come from. Okay, so we went in and hit this guy a little bit. We have to find a good way to deal with these people. Just because the... They... Oh, Jesus. 
We ha yeah, we'll have to figure this out. There's got to be a better way to take these on. We can't just shoot them with these little things over and over again. I mean, we could, but that'd be stupid, in my opinion. So we do a little jump dodge. Jump dodge is not going to work. Oh, Jesus. Please don't do that to me. Maybe we could kick him. No, not that kind of... God damn it. <laughs> if we have both in our hands, we can kick, and that might disarm him. If that's the case, then that's that's what I'm going to have to do. Don't hit me, don't hit me. Oh, Jesus. Got one hit from that, and they're over. Oh, wait. Actually, I'll just sneak up on him, because I don't see any more. Hello. Oh, Jesus, what? I thought that was a backstab for show. Oh, hello. So, like, that kick right there, hit, he, it removes his shield. So, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Which is cool. I like that. And this guy is a nice-looking statue. Let's go ahead and do a quick save point right here. And uh, it'll refuel everything. And we have 2,300. What I kind of want to do, since we did make the uh, agility check for that staff, I want to go ahead and put some into I wanted I really wanted to go with vitality uh, increases the amount of health what would it actually do plus 13 health that's not too bad this on the other hand would increase my equipment burden but not actual damage and I, I guess I would need more strength for that to happen this would actually be a really good choice as well so let's go ahead and just go with endurance for now and then we'll pump up Vitality later. Because I feel like I can compensate by being better. <laughs> I guess that's a good way to say it. Um, Alright guys, well you know what? I'm going to go ahead and call this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.